<laughs> All right, welcome back to SOS. I'm Stas Iron Badass, and today I'm doing this SHTF box. I move my stuff up. So I'm doing the SHTF box because I don't know how it got started, but it started ending up on my on my front porch, and so I started opening them up and and I started getting more impressed with what I was seeing, and they're actually better than Battle Box. I was I was impressed. I was amazed that they were actually doing better. And the knives are higher quality. I'm just... <laughs> First off, I have to cover up my address and everything. Someone's going to be like, what's up with the blue tape? Well, that's because there are freaky weirdos out there that want to uh, meet Sippy and I and and be weird. So... Since that's the case, <laughs> someone's gonna get All right. Yeah, my daughter just came in here and now she wants to sit in here and see what I open up, but that's fine. Okay, so we've got the tactical glass breaker pen. This actually looks like something better than some of the other things that people get. All right, let's see. Carbide tip, metallic pocket clip. And yes, yeah, the pan is lightweight aircraft. Oil. Okay, whoop you do. All right, let's take a look. That is fracking huge. All right, how does this? Okay, so all right, I get it. So this is your pin section here. You twist, pin comes out, and then the other direction. Now you have your tip here for glass breaking. That is your glass breaking tip. And it just, it's like this, like a self-defense tool. So whack them all this way, whack them all that way. Either way, wham, wham. And you can use the cap on either side, I'm assuming. Okay. Cool. So I can cap it, use it as a glass breaker, either or. It's actually pretty cool. And you push you my What? You get up here on the stool, you. I'm not pushing you off the edge. What do you think this is? All right, here's something I was curious about. It's a headlamp. It's a headlamp. Yep, headlamp. That's a headlamp. It's waterproof, high power headlamp. Nothing, not a lot of details, just it's an LED headlamp. And yes, it is enormous, but it's very lightweight. There's no weight to it at all. And so you... Fully adjustable. I'm assuming that all of those will kick on in some process here. Very interesting. We've got our very large batteries. There's your uh, your 20,000 MOS. So there you go. Very cool. There's your recharging port. I'm assuming this is where the batteries go. Let's put the batteries in there. Open her up. This is cool. And then that would cover that up, so I don't need to show that off. There we go. Let's give it a try. Actually, not too bad. I mean, I see a lot of these things all the time, and, you know, the batteries don't really... I'm, I can only imagine the battery life you're going to get having two of those and running these small Cree LEDs. Because that's a small... That's not a very big Cree LED. That's just like a, like a standard little mini mag light. So let's just shine it here. There's the two. You get. To, I'm not trying to blind you. I just want you to see that they work. And then all three. And then you have. That's cool. It's like Christmas. They, they are all flashing and going crazy. Well, that's pretty neat. Anything work on the double tap? No, just that. Well, for what it is, all four. When all three of them are kicked on, they're pretty bright. But anyway, it is what it is, man. I mean, it's nothing too crazy. You these are fifty bucks a month. These these things, they're actually less than that, I believe. In some cases, you have your basic and standard and whatever. Uh, they have the same thing. They don't they don't they don't give me a box for those of you that are going to ask that question. They do not give me a box to do. They just started coming to my house, and I'm sure they would have stopped by now, especially with me making fun of the boxes and stuff. So they got one shot, one kill. Assist opening pocket knife. The pocket knife? It's a little pocket knife. 
So SOA is the company. Looks like it has a uh, something for breaking stuff, but that would work as a flat head. That works as a bottle opener. And it just looks like a pretty standard. There's no jiffing to it, really. It's just a nice little little pocket knife for for cutting things up. I'm sure it probably doesn't have you know hardly any sharpness to it at all. Here, let's try some thicker cardboard. There we go. Thick cardboard. Factory edge. Not bad. Let's try a piece of paper now. This is usually what I used to write on. Just curious. Yeah, see what I mean? It's snagged right there. Factory Edge. I mean, it's just, it's funny. Something so cheap. Because yeah, you know this is a very cheap knife. I mean, it's just pretty obvious. But it actually has a pretty decent edge on it. All right, so there's the knife. <clears throat> All right, no crazy train. You just knock it off over there. Now, you guys know what these are. These are canteen hangers, and I needed another one, and I'm glad they sent this in here because I actually needed this. It's funny that sometimes they have gimmicky stuff, and then sometimes it's a lot of what I need. Like, uh, I needed something like this for holding a canteen over a campfire. That's just, This is actually something that I needed, and I wanted to be able to put this with one of my bottles that I have. Because so I only have, believe it or not, I only have one of these. I usually have to make these things. And they actually sit down. Alright, they've got a little bag in here. Cool little EDC bag, I'm assuming. Let's hope it's cool. I do like the fact that this uh, CH Cadells and these guys, oh, they're all doing uh, like Christmas stockings this year so you can order a Christmas stocking it, you might want to do it fast because they're going to go out go out quick but they you get a crisp tactical Christmas stocking and it's full of little tactical gear kind of like what I'm doing here so uh, like I said they don't sponsor me it's just Sippy and I like that sort of thing we're goofy like that and we like looking at the magazines that's cool Nothing to it, really. I mean, someone's going to be looking at this right now and being like, dude, I've already seen this before. But it's cool. I mean, it's got a nice little... Put a couple little EDC items in it to carry around with you. Clip it on your belt. Just saying. Most people carry stuff like this, kind of like, uh, you know, jumping from car to car. You can do a little, uh, little first aid kit. Put your little first aid kind of logo there. It's black. I mean, it's not... It's kind of low-key. It's nothing really outrageous. Get this out of the way. So this time they did, usually they do a food item, and this time they did chili with beans, and they're fully cooked, and something I can put in food storage. So um, a century from now, I get hungry, I can tear one of these up. These are great for uh, uh, hiking, trail, stuff like that. These are always good to have. It does have some weight to it, but it is one of those meals it's kind of like what you buy at Walmart, like you bought like chili in a bag like this, but it saves it a little bit of space. We have fire starters this time, which what are you doing over there, child? We have, uh, <laughs> of course, of course, little ninja has to come hang out with me. She will not let me be by myself. She's a good kid. She likes to come hang out, especially when I'm doing stuff like this. She likes to just sort of trip out. All right, the little fire starters. What do they look like? Obviously, this is not you know anything too rarity. Uh, pretty basic. Just there. Uh, uh, you have your uh, ignition on this side. I I do know what the mixture of that's called. I can't think of it right now off the top of my head, but it's a mixture. I know how to make that, by the way. And but you take it, strike the side. You tear off one of these, and then you got some wet tender some wet fire there you go it's always good i i collect fire starter type stuff a lot of different things from from fat wood to you name it man fat rope all that stuff all right now i'm gonna look at this real quick i'm gonna just kind of look at this real quick before i pull that next one out and you guys know i'm a big fan of anything lock picking uh uh, cracking codes, things, you know, things like that. That's always kind of my thing. 
and this time they've sent out the lock picking beginners guide and I actually have this set I made a video on this I made a video on that including this I have yet to do a video on this but now I have this set so I will probably make, be making a video about this key set now do not this is something I always forget to say but do not carry this with you in your car or like you put it in the trunk or something right just put it away. Don't carry it around with you every single day. This could kind of get you in trouble. Now, if you only had the one, the, the rake pick, like this rake pick will do everything just about. If you only had like that one rake pick, the rakes, uh, just the single picks, the single pick rake, one of those items with you, it would not be that big of a deal. If you've got a full set of these bad boys or some of the other stuff I've sold showing you like this, Carrying it around with you every day, and you get pulled over, <laughs> you got to face the face the fuzz, right? So you got to face the the cops, right? And you got this stuff on, you're gonna get in some trouble. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Where are you going? Anyways, but yes, this is another uh, another intro into lock picking, and I I really do try to learn as much as I can about lock picking. I I uh, I do. Um, you know, uh, clothes pins and weird stuff. You know, I do all kinds of weird stuff, bending things and playing with it. I want to know how to do it out of nothing, right? All right, here's last but not least. This looked like an item that I need. I don't I don't know what this is, but uh, from what I could see, this is something that I needed that I don't have yet. And that's always cool when I get these things that I get something that I need that I don't have yet. And these are usually typically things that you you uh, you probably won't find yourself. All right, so we got some poles. They're not heavy. I was expecting something heav heavier. It is aluminum, so I'm assuming that it's not going to be super heavy. I was thinking it was going to be outrageously heavy. What have we here? Oh, I know what this is. Oh, I know what this is. This works in conjunction with this. And I can put this all together in one kit. This is cool. See, this is this is why I share this stuff. Because you never know, man. You're probably going to run into something. Now, there's no instructions on putting this together. So, I'm just going to have to do my best here. There's an interesting couple of poles. There's three of these. So, there's this. Here we go. This goes here, and this one goes here. Hi, Dad. Let me just put. <laughs> hey, sweetie, come on up here. I'm just gonna put this together. So this goes here and here. Like this, this goes at the end of here, because I'm assuming because this one doesn't have thread at the end of it. Let me put this one here. This is cool. You wouldn't That's need... Cool. Yeah, it is cool. You don't really need the whole thing, though. And you can make this, of course. But if you're going to be staying in a camp for a long time and you don't want to make one out of sticks and whatever, you want to have something more professional grade. Sticks. That's right, sticks. Then you could do it out of this. So... This would go here. On here like that right something like this and then these will go right into here flip this around obviously well I guess it's all right like that and then the chain goes here you can chain this through I'll get this set up for you be patient with me that will go here this will go here this goes here. But anyways, you get the point, right? It's a tripod. For cooking. I'm just going to stick this last one in, and I'm going to set it up for you. Hey, look, where are you going there? Well, why you got your piggy bank up here in my lap? I'm having to hold all this stuff. So there you go. Let me pull this up. I'll show you. Yeah, like this. You see that? And it comes down, and it's a little tripod here. 
And this obviously will go somewhere on here. All right. I'm sure you will just sort of do this. You can see. And then you would do this. And then bring this up to like right here. Right? Or you, I mean, you can clip it onto here like this. All right, kid. And then now you've got your bottle above the fire. Of course, I would bring it up higher than that. It's probably gonna need to be right about there. But okay. it takes up it takes up less room, and because most, I mean, most of these when I put these together, they're not. Uh, they're actually bigger than this. They're much larger. But this is cool. I didn't have one of these, and now I have one. I have a whole setup like this, so I can put it in my little camp kit, and this will be with the family camping kit. And this is, you know, kind of most of the stuff that I put in there. Now I can actually throw in my chili with my with my camp kit that I'm building. You know, it's 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 a tug tag along camp kit for emergencies. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, folks. There you have it. You're watching SOS. Where's the button for this thing? <laughs> I can't. Ah, I'm gonna die in the dark. I can't find the button. There we go. I could tell spooky stories like this. Or like this. Alright. Well, you're watching this OS. I'm Stas RMBA. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day. Rainbows and unicorns. God bless. Take care.